Welcome in, hockey fans. As you can see, I'm at the University of Denver again. Uh, I'm doing a feature this week on the three Carters, because apparently, if you want to play at Denver, your first name has to be Carter. Yeah. Carter King is with me. So, uh, first of all, Carter, congratulations on the big goal last weekend. Yeah, thank you. Before we dig into this season, tell me what made you want to be a pioneer. Um, there's a lot of things that went into it. Uh, a good reputation of the school, but um, just one of the top programs you go to. Um, great coaching staff, and, um, an opportunity to win year after year. And, um, that's something that's pretty rare and something that I wanted to take advantage of. How's the adjustment been for you this year, the freshman coming in here, and now we're three quarters of the way through the season? about this roster because when I look at you guys I can't tell the difference between lines one two three or four or a b c and d whatever it is yeah. is that the way it feels as a player too absolutely it's you know being um, in a position where you're fighting for a lineup and you're fighting for ice time um, you look around and everyone deserves ice time and everyone deserves to play but um, only four lines can play so um, it definitely creates a lot of competition throughout the lineup and I think that's benefited us NCHC hockey is uh, like no other. You're finding it out right now. You're on the home stretch to get to the playoff uh, part of the season. Uh, what's it been like in the NCHC? Has it been what you thought? Um, a little bit, yeah. Um, there's a very systematic hockey, um, a lot of detail, um, and it's, it's tough sometimes. You know, you're playing good teams every single weekend, and it's tough to kind of have some confidence to score goals and stuff like that. But, I want to ask you about playing at Magnus. When I come into this building, I get kind of chills just from the history. Um, when I watch you guys play and I watch you guys earn a sweep and you salute the fans, uh, how does that all go and how does it feel in you? Uh, it's awesome. Okay, I want to ask you this. When you're on the bench and coach says Carter, does anybody look or does he just start using the other uh, the other nicknames? I think he calls you Kinger, right? Yeah, I think if you were to yell Carter, I think all three of us would turn around. So I don't think anyone um, goes by Carter on the bench. But um, we make it work for All right, so here's the key. If he does say Carter and all three of you jump on the ice, what can you guys do together? I think there would be some good chemistry. Carter King, appreciate your time. Good luck, and uh, keep the uh, goal-scoring touch going, okay? Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, folks, uh, I'm back at Denver, uh, University of Denver. Let's get it right. Uh, I got another Carter with me. We talked to Carter King first. I got Carter Mazur with me now, another freshman. But, uh, Carter, I don't think you're a freshman anymore. I think three-quarters of the way through the season, you passed that point. Am I right? Uh, yeah, I feel still considered a freshman, but I, I feel like I'm settled out pretty well, so excited to talk to you. It's been a really crazy year for you. Uh, had the opportunity to go to the World Juniors. It ended abruptly. You come back, you jump right back into the lineup. Um, what was that experience like, even though you didn't get a chance to play much? Yeah, it's still a great experience. You're representing your country, and that's something that I always want to do. And just having that end just so abruptly like that, it's kind of tough. But to come back here is awesome. So couldn't be any more happy that back here and get back to work with uh, this group of guys. So. Speaking of getting back to work, you guys just continue to put wins up, and you have to do that in the NCHC. You control your own destiny now for the rest of the way. Uh, another big sweep uh, of St. Cloud State come, uh, that last weekend, and now UMD coming in this weekend. What's it been like on the bench? How's it felt for you guys? Has it felt like your the confidence level is up there? Yeah, I would say for sure. Our confidence level is pretty high right now. We're really rolling as a team. I feel like we just keep building on just each week. Keep building, getting better and better. Yeah, 
you know, it looks that way to me too. Like you guys, uh, there isn't a lead or there isn't a situation you can be in where you panic and you always feel like you can get it done. Yeah, exactly. That's just how it is in hockey. You're, always, you're not always going to be in the lead. So I feel like you got to come back from those games and hopefully win them. And then what we're doing right now is pretty successful. So I'm happy with where we're at. I joked with everybody here. I said, apparently your name, first name has to be Carter if you're going to play at Denver. But uh, when all three of you, of you are on the bench and Coach yells Carter, uh, does anybody look or does he just stay away from that altogether? No, I feel like he stays away from that altogether. <laughs> So what does he call you? What's your nickname? Uh, I'm Maze, Maze, Mazer. <laughs> Just go by the last name, make it easier. All right, so, so I asked Carter King this. I said, if the coach does yell Carter and all three of you jump and go on the line at the same time, um, what's, it, what's it feel like? Can you guys get the job done? Uh, well, we haven't done that yet, but I feel like we would, especially with all Carters. We'll see. If it happens, it would be pretty fun. Though. It would be. Let's talk about your style because I like watching you go to the front of the net. Uh, two things I notice: you're hard to move, and you're always presenting your stick. Is that something you work on? Yeah, that is something I always worked on, especially like growing up, I was always a smaller kid, and that's kind of how you score goals, you better stuff than that. So I felt like that's something that's always been built in my game, especially just the selling out and the I feel like that's a part of the game that will get you to the next level. So I feel like that's where the puck always has to go, so you might as well be there. All right, tell us about Denver hockey. We've talked about it before, but uh, – it's got a lot of pride, a lot of t tradition. You guys just went on uh, another 20 win season plus and counting, I should say. Um, tell us about it. Yeah, it's been unbelievable so far. Coaching staff, players, everything. To, uh, to the bit, like, it's just an unbelievable program. It's somewhere where people should want to come and play. It's going to get you to the next level as well as hopefully win some championships in the way. So I feel like it's the place where you want to be. All right, you wore the red, white, and blue. Final one for you. The Olympics are happening uh, very, very soon. The, the guys are going to start playing Thursday, I think. Um, red, white, and blue pride for you with knowing some of the guys there? Yeah, I know a decent amount of guys there, so I have to be no matter what. Even, <laughs> even if I didn't know anyone, it's still red, white, and blue, especially in this locker room. Carter Mazur, uh, thanks for your time and uh, good luck the rest of the way, okay? Thank you. I appreciate it. Really, JR, you think you can still do this? I'm focused. You're way too old to hit that target from there. I've been listening to everything you said. It's been running through my head, locked and loaded. Right, still got it. Still got it. Who's old now? Well, welcome in, hockey fans. We're back at uh, the University of Denver. I've got the third of three Carters, but uh, I saved the best for last, Sav. You know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so tell me a little bit about uh, playing uh, this past weekend. Uh, line juggling a little bit, but you came out and, uh, and blew them away. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think the mix, mix up in our lineup was a good thing for our group. Uh, brought a little life to us. Uh, the creativity and chemistry between some, some other guys. I mean, our lineup's so deep. I mean, we can really play with anyone and have a lot of success. And I think that was a good piece of the Okay, so we talked before. Uh, you're a sniper. You like to find your spot on the ice, but you also have to play physical, especially in the NCHC. So how's that been? Uh, it's been good. I mean, Coach said part of the idea of uh, juggling the lines was so that you're all comfortable playing with anybody at any time, whether it's a tournament game or wherever it is. Um, you believe in that theory too, I'm guessing? Yeah, yeah, I definitely do. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. If injuries come up, uh, what can happen in the future? So I think that's going to be ready Okay, so uh, Olympics happening now. Uh, Canada against the U.S. sure to happen at some point. Um, your thoughts? What's it like in the locker room? Uh, hasn't been much talk yet. Okay, 
right, so let me ask you this. Uh, have you ever had a hat trick in a period before? Because we were all thinking it was going to happen in that second period. I think that, I'm pretty sure that's my first time, actually, yeah. So that's pretty exciting. Tell, tell us about that power play. You guys moved the puck well, but you got a lot of smarts out there, a lot of hockey smarts, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, from the top, you got Mary, you got the puck mover, you see the puck mover, it's just Bob on the other side. Also, they're looking at the pucks, and they're smart, and they've got it better than us as well. I mean, I think, I think we've all done a good job of blending together and uh, having good communication and building that kind of chemistry. Now they ask you about the Carters. Carter King finally got his first goal. He said it was a long time coming. Yeah. Coach told me it's the first time he's ever seen a standing ovation in the locker room for a guy getting his first goal. No, yeah. Is that true? Yeah, definitely really exciting. <laughs> I mean, uh, we've, all, we've all been uh, uh, hoping for him to get his first one really soon. And he's really, really good at getting that one. He's a really timely goal. Okay, talk about Mays, what he does and what he leads to the team. I mean, obviously Mays is a really special player, player ever since he got here. Uh, he's so fit. Gotta ask you this one because I asked the other two when coach is on the bench and you guys are all there and he says Carter, you all three jump or did he stay away from it? Uh yeah, he's, <laughs> he stayed away from it so far. I mean, hopefully that doesn't come So if it does happen and all three Carters get up and jump on the line at the same time, can you guys get the job done? Uh yeah. I mean, pretty, I think we definitely can. Carter says, boy, we're gonna call you Sav. Is that okay? Can we just call you Sav from now oh, on? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your time, and uh, good luck this weekend and the rest of the way. Yeah, thank you. You got three of them. I asked them all, I said, when coach says Carter, do they all three jump, or, or do you just stay away from it on the bench? Yeah, I don't say the word Carter. <laughs> Okay, follow up to that is if you do say Carter and all three of them go on the ice at the same time, can they get the job done? 